Hallelujah, praise God. I welcome you all in the name of Jesus. This is the word and declaration, sweet Lynette. If this is your first time seeing me or coming across my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. God bless you. I love you all so much. And I will keep praying and interceding for you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for today. Lord, we bless your name. Father, we praise your name for there is no one like you. We worship you for everything you have done for us. Lord, we thank you for we know that you are fighting our unseen battles. Lord, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your faithfulness over our lives. We pray, O King of Glory, that may you continue to guide our going out and our coming in. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Someone is about to receive a news. Now, this is not a good news, but this is what the Lord says I should tell you. After receiving this news, do not cry. After receiving this news, do not let it break you down. I know we all are humans and sometimes we, we walk according to our emotions, but the Lord says this particular news is for your good. The Bible says, if God is with you, who then can be against you? For all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. This news you're about to receive is going to break you down, but the Lord says it is for your good. Something better is coming your way. God is taking this person out of your life because he is bringing someone that is going to give you peace. He is bringing someone that is going to give you so much joy. I pray for you. May you hack into the voice of the Lord. I pray may God console your heart after you receive this news in the name of Jesus. I pray may God restore that broken heart that you are about to receive in the name of Jesus. I know this is so difficult, but do not take it for granted. When this thing happens to you, just open your mouth and thank God. When you receive this news, open your mouth and thank God. For the Lord says he did it purposely because he is about to bring someone better into your life. You don't need to stay in a relationship. You don't need to stay maybe in, a, in an office or anywhere or with someone that is maltreating you. That does not feel good about you. That does not respect you enough. The Lord says he is about to introduce you to to a new person and this person is going to give you so much joy in the name of Jesus. I hope you receive this word with gladness. Please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so I never upload new content. You will be the first to know. I love you all so much and see you in our next session. God bless you. Shalom.